Hello everyone and welcome to the second scrimmage here today. It's going to be Severn versus DeMatha. And we're sorry for the late start, but we are here now. And that will be Reed Gills winning the faceoff for the Admirals. Admirals are in white, DeMatha's in blue. And we apologize for our scoreboard as it is bugging currently. We will try to get the Severn Admirals logo onto the right side. My name is Josh Bing alongside Jack Stamato. Andrew Beard. There's early, a quick goal. Early it's shot there from Andrew Beard. It's exactly what we're looking for for Beard. Josh, you commentated that game on Saturday. It was a little bit of a sloppy performance. Uh, Andrew was telling me today he was a little disappointed with his performance. Really needed to clean up the stick work. How, how important is that start right there just from a momentum standpoint, even though this is a scrimmage? Yeah, it is just a scrimmage, but, I mean, seeing the early goal like that happen so quickly is good to see considering, I mean, <clears throat> last Saturday we played against Bullis, and it was not a pretty game. It was very sloppy. Uh, I don't think anyone was super happy with how it turned out for the Admirals. I believe the final score was 15-5, but, I mean, the score does not isn't really what matters. It's, it's more just how they played, and it wasn't the cleanest game for them. Jacob Todd with it now behind. Dumps it. Good find for Reed that's still on the field. Not sure why Reed was still on the field there as he is the face-off man. Now DeMath is going to get their first opportunity here on offense. Some subbing from DeMath. It's going to be the first opportunity so here. DeMath is offsides. They put an extra player on. Refs didn't see it, but they were offsides for a second there. Matha working it around. Good dodge there. And a great goal. That was a great dodge, great shot. Now, one, one thing that was extremely sloppy for the Admirals on Saturday was their defense, and that's something I'm going to be watching really closely today to see how if their defense can play better together, better team defense. Because yeah. on Saturday they were leaving many men open and right. right there they left someone wide open for an easy goal. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what I've heard is the defense is gonna be especially in this conference this year, I mean the attack men are so talented and so skilled it's it's gonna be tough for this defense to be able to hold them to just a couple goals a game but when you have a guy like this, Reed Gills at X, I mean, you're getting up to guaranteed possession, so. Yeah, Reed Gills is the top uh, face-off man in the state as only a sophomore. I mean, he's done a great job building his name, and we've seen him firsthand, and he is just automatic on the face-offs. Now, two notable injuries for the Admirals are Paul Baldwin and Davis Caulfield. Paul Baldwin's, I mean, a star-studded attackman for the Admirals who's committed to uh, Air Force, who really was awesome for us last year, winning MVP on the team. Um, and that's going to be a sloppy pass. There, by the there it is. It's exactly what we we're worried about after Saturday. It's just this sloppy play. And as I was saying, the other the second notable injury was Davis Caulfield, who hurt himself on Saturday in that game, uh, tweaking his left knee. We're hoping it's only a sprain, only out for maybe three to five weeks, but uh, we're not sure yet. It was a doctor's appointment today. Now DeMath are going to get their second opportunity on offense. Another dodge from up top. Beard not frazzled at all. Sticks with him, push him to his left. Number 91 going to top. Beard helping out. Wow, great shot, 91 for the Stags. That one looked like it could have been saved there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. top, t right top middle. Um, but it was a good shot, a lot of velocity. And maybe uh, our goalie, William Perez, was potentially not expecting it. It was a bit of an unorthodox shot there, but. Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked like pretty good defense from Beard. I mean, forced him to his left. I mean, he was right on him. He just kind of shot it right over his head. Yeah. Perez may have been blinded. Yeah, couldn't see it. Now, Jack, we've seen uh, Andrew Beard play midfield and attack. What position would you say he really uh, 
I think you got to put him at midfield. He's he's just too fast to play attack. He, he's shifty enough to play attack, but I mean, he's he's so fast that you got to have him at midfield. He's just he's a decent defender too. See a timeout from the Admirals. So timeout white. We saw there Reed Gill's face-off man getting the ball, not really knowing what to do with it. It's a good timeout by Coach Christie there. And so uh, we'll be back with you after the break. Welcome back, everyone, after the timeout. The Adams are going to get possession in their offensive side. We see there Justin Queen going for the ball. He didn't play on Saturday after he had a basketball game on Friday. So I'm very excited to see him play, one of the great two-way midfielders for the Admirals. He carries that basketball footwork onto the lacrosse field. He's not someone that you want to be lined up across as an attackman or midfielder. Oh, it's just kind of sloppy. And they get it up to five. To, to Trey. Up top to Chase Hallam, sophomore. Jacob Todd now. Good defense here from DeMatha. Admiral's trying to penetrate through. But DeMatha's staying, staying dense, staying tight. And well, number great two shot with the there. beautiful goal. That is Mason Irvin, another one of the basketball players who was not able to play on Saturday. Agent zero on the court, but out here, number two. And that's a great shot, a great goal to tie it 2 2. Looks like they're going to put a pole on Reed Gills, sacrificing the possession. Reed just told me about that today. He gets a pole put on him a lot because he just know that Gills is so talented at the face-off X. I mean, he yeah. is just automatic. It's unreal. I mean, he is the best in the state, but, I mean, he does not lose that often. I'm all setting up some type of offense. I do think we have to keep in mind, Jack, that this is only a scrimmage. We're going to see a lot of different players, maybe some players yeah. that are on the bubble, right. trying to see whether they're going to make uh, make the team or not. Yeah, so I mean, we might not see too many minutes from the starters. Yeah, as you say that, I mean, Tanner Huber, the freshman, passed it off. Jacob Todd at X, the Princeton commit. Jacob Todd is not one of those bubble players. Wow, here's Trey Dring. And just goes out. Going to be DeMatha ball as they chase it out. Charlie Hall trying to fight for that one for the Admirals, but DeMatha's going to come away with it. Sunny day here in Serena Park, Maryland. About Very 55 sunny. degrees, perfect temperature. We apologize for the tech difficulties we're having currently. Trying to get that logo up on the scoreboard. 
Number 91 trying to dodge. Great defense there. Wide open in the middle. Looks like they're trying to suck everyone out. And this Maybe is a similar, a cutter, no. similar defensive strategy that we saw on Saturday from the Admirals. This kind of not really staying too dense and playing pretty far out. And Here comes Cole Kiefer. Four on three opportunity, but Cole Kiefer is going to go oh. back, and that pass is not going to connect. Pretty good look. Uh, I don't know if I love forcing it like that on a fast break, but... I would have loved to see Cole drive in further yeah. and probably draw a defender and there. Dump it off to Todd. Yeah. Make it a true four on three opportunity. So as I was saying before, look at how far some of these defenders are pu getting pulled out instead of staying pretty condensed. We yeah. saw Bullis on Saturday stay really condensed, which made it really hard for the Admirals to kind of find pass passing lanes through. But the Admirals are doing quite the opposite. Another good dodge, 91. Number 91, and a great save there from William Perez. Good luck, too. Finn Kinsella turn on the Jets. See Justin Queen check in. He's going to get the ball at the top. We see number two, Mason Irvin, check in. Previous goal scorer. Andrew Beard comes in. Jacob Todd's going to look to dodge, and he's now got the short pull on him, so I can only assume he's going to try to make something happen here. Shimmy. He's going to dodge left, wind up, take wow. a shot, and it's going to go over, but it's going to remain Admiral's ball. Luke Hayes chased that one out. Hayes gets caught up and get a flag. Andrew's going to dodge. Shakes the first one. Oh, and a beautiful shot there, but a great save yeah, from the Yeah, that was goalie. a great save. That thing had some velo to it. And Jacob Todd going to look to dodge. He's going to fire, and that one's going to go yeah. over. That's good, good dodge from Andrew Beard. One thing he struggled with is finishing in the last, last year and a half, I guess, now. Um, was his finishing, but, I mean, that was a good shot. He's already scored once today. Another good look from Andrew. Yeah, I think... Um, that shot definitely had a lot of velocity, but it was right down the middle. I mean, it was yeah. a pretty easy save. Maybe yeah. a bit uncomfortable, but right. it's a pretty easy save. Couldn't find any of the corners there. Yeah. One thing Andrew does have... Oh, wow. Beautiful wow. pass fake from Jacob Todd. I mean, that's just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. The fake gets the kid's neck and just snipes it. I mean, the creativity to even think about doing that. It's just one on, of a kind from him. After the first pass on man up, I mean, that's got to be it's got to be a pretty good feeling right there for Coach Christie. Yeah, that's one of Jacob's kind of key moves that he likes to pull off a lot. Um, usually not as effective as that one. That one works like a charm. Yeah, that was. Whew. That one will surely be in the highlight reel. Uh, Reed gets kills. a clamp, trips over himself. <laughs> Unconventional loss there yeah. from Reed. Got the clamp. Tripped over himself. Definitely not ideal. We see Nick Sott, number 16, the long pole midfielder there. Committed to Hobart for lacrosse, a junior. Love watching Sott play. Such a talented player. You know, beautiful checks there from Sott. Nick Sott. Here, the defense getting way pulled out. Look at all that open area in the middle. I mean, you'd think that DeMatha would Dodging try to get inside on that. again. Number 40's going to cut in. That ball's going to get deflected. Number four, that was Fion Kinsella. Oh, good feed. Oh, no. Beautiful ball movement. That's going to be a no goal. It's oh, on I thought the it went in and went around the outside. Perez. Let's see if it. Tough angle shot there, not Go unable back to, to find Perez. It. Perez is great with his passes. That's one thing that I've seen that I've really liked. Um, number 34 there, looking to dodge as a defender. Three is wide open. You know, he picks it off. And it looks like he's going to get a fast break. Yeah. And that's an easy goal in transition. 
And that's those are the mistakes that we're kind of happy to see in scrimmages. Yeah. But that cannot happen when the regular season comes around. Yeah. I mean, that's about the last thing that you want to happen in uh, conference play. I mean, three was wide open. The defenseman didn't find him. Perez sees him, tries to dump it over the top. I mean, we'll give him props, though. I don't know which number that was on the math, but he had some pretty good vertical. I mean, he got up there pretty good. But yeah, he had good speed. Yeah. Good, good composure. Some of those fast break opportunities are the toughest one to make because they seem so easy. But right. then you just kind of let up and don't finish the job. But he did a good job there. Yeah, I believe that was number 91 in the, on DeMatha. See senior Paul Baldwin out there as much before injured, but still out there supporting the team, talking to some players. MVP of last season for the Admirals. Senior going to Air Force. And we'll be back with you after the break. Apologies, everyone. We messed up the score. Since it's a scrimmage, uh, the live score oh, on the scoreboard is not being oh, kept. Man. And so we thought it was 3-2, but it's actually 3-3. Saw a bit of a chippy play there on the... <laughs> Both face-off guys getting a little chippy there. Yeah, on the sub out. <laughs> Tried to trip him over the pylon. <laughs> the math, the field... Uh, Faceoff man try to lay a little shoulder into Reed Gills on the sub. We'll keep an eye on that as the game goes on. I'll let that kid know. There's one thing. There's one person out there that you don't want to hit in the shoulder, and that one person is Reed Gills. All conference wrestler. Yeah, he's I mean, not the guy that you necessarily want to mess with. That's a beautiful kid's a ground tank. ball from Nick Sod. He's gonna check out. Wow, another great dodge from Jacob Todd. Ooh, Jacob Todd pings it off the, the woodwork there. Rattles. Off sides, yep. That's a classy move there by the uh, Severn defender as he didn't couldn't get the ground ball, but baits him off sides. Pu pushed him off sides. Yeah. Great uh, nice. veteran play there. Really like to see Coach Chrissy use. I think Chase Chase Hallam, and oh wow, there's Andrew again finishing. Sometimes I feel like he just goes for power over placement. Really, I think he should just go placement over power. I mean, he was only a couple yards out there, but that was a pretty sweet sophomore to sophomore connection. Ooh, that wasn't Jacob's best shot there. Looks like he slipped out a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think Andrew maybe could benefit from maybe trying to go low. Yeah. A bit easier targets to hit. Just as difficult to save. Another great dodge from Chase. Great dodge from Chase, but it looks like he could have ran past him but didn't. Kind of retreated a bit. Here we have another fast break. Damatha is going to get a four-on-three opportunity. Oh, we wow. see number 32 going to try to cut in, but he's going to slow it down. He's going to give it to number 91. Double. Math is going to work it around. You have 55 seconds left in the first quarter. The 
is going to be another timeout for DeMatha. Yeah. One thing, Josh, I will say is I, I do have... I, I mean, the defense hasn't shown great play so far through these first two scrimmages, but I do have... I I believe in them, you know? We got Jacob Mandish, former Admiral. He's taken, taken control of the defense for this season. Played at Navy. He's got that Naval Academy mindset. I mean, you got to think these guys are going to be disciplined and just ready to go by the time that the real season starts. It's yeah, I couldn't agree more, Jack. I think that's a great great uh, job by the Admirals to bring him back, former Admiral. Um, hopefully whip the defense into shape. Yeah. Really involved with the team over the last couple of years. So we'll be back with you after this break for the third time out of the first quarter. Welcome back. 30 sec 38 seconds left in the first quarter. DeMath is going to look for a potentially quarter-ending shot. Ooh. Oh, a little slip there, but a great move. Great recovery, and that's going to be a goal. Great bounce shot there. Those are the toughest to save, arguably. This just looks frustrating. I mean, you can tell by the, the body language on the uh, Admiral sideline. It's just kind of frustrating. Yeah, and I talked to Paul Baldwin and Chase Anderson this morning. They both said that this should be a convincing victory for the Admirals. I mean, they yeah. think it should be kind of a blowout, but, I mean, maybe that's why it's so close. Right. Maybe they were maybe overlooking them, not giving them all the effort they could be. But, uh, yeah, this has looked really sloppy for the Admirals so far. Gosh, Reed Gills is just – he's generational talent, to put it – we'll just put it at that. Wow. Yeah, Reed's um, been Reed brilliant lets, today. Reed lets the kid have it. That tried to put him in the pylon. <laughs> kid looks a little shooken up. Now Andrew dodges the top, backs out. Over to Dring. Dring rips Ooh, it. Trey Dring goes just wide. One second left. One person who doesn't necessarily need to work on his shot accuracy is Trey Dring. I mean, we've seen him sharp shoot those corners before, and we know he's an archer. Yeah. He's got that pinpoint accuracy. So that's yep. going to be the end of the first quarter. Score DeMatha 4, 7 3. We'll be back with you after the break.
Welcome back, everyone. Start of the second quarter here. If you don't know, lacrosse is four quarters, 12 minutes each. And the Admirals and uh, DeMath are going to switch sides here. dominating win there for Reed Gills. Now one thing I have seen is that Reed Gills has done a great job winning the faceoffs. Once he's gotten them, he's had trouble kind yeah. of making passes. Doesn't seem like he's put too much time into that, more time into the faceoffs. Yeah, I mean, the stick he uses obviously isn't meant to throw, but I mean, guarantee you'll sharpen that up after wrestling season. He's obviously a little, uh, little rusty, rough around the edges. I love this sophomore duo at the top, Andrew and Chase Hallam. Really hope we can see that during the season. Luke Hayes trying to work with it back at X, and he's going to cut around it. Gets wrap check there. Great defense there. Andrew sprinted off the field, got some PTSD from the rap check. So we saw that about four times during the St. Mary's game last year. St. Mary's our rival. I mean, we had a historic matchup against them last year. Hopefully, we'll have some better some Incredible. battles. Incredible. Jack, I believe we were watching that on the live stream from yeah. like five guys. Yeah, we were. It's a shame we weren't able to uh, <laughs> attend, to watch it live. But that was we were going crazy in the five guys scoring a regular. Got some interesting stares, but beautiful interior pass. There we go. Great save from Will Perez. Here comes Perez. You've awoken the beast. And that's KJ. and here's another beast, KJ. KJ Lloyd, one of the star defenders for the Admirals. Who's one? That's Brady Irvin now trying to work it into the attacking side. Great job from him to get it in and slow it down. Charlie Hall up top. Er, no. That's Mason Irvin. Yeah, Mason Irvin. Now Sorry. It's over, I believe that's Chase Howell. Thought it's all pink. Head on the stick. Great move there from Chase, but the double team's going to come. He's going to find an open man, and Jacob Todd, and that shot's going to go right at the middle of the goal. Easy save for the goalie. Is it? it are the Admirals really? It, I don't know. Their defense, or the, I meant their offense, is just... It doesn't really look like they're running a particular offense. I mean, Great pass there from KJ. Oh. I mean, they're kind of coming down the field. I mean, Chase was getting ready to dodge. They had two guys in the middle, right, right on top of the crease. I mean, neither of them were open, but it didn't it just didn't really look like. Yeah, I'm seeing a they, lot of a lot of people stand still. Yeah, it didn't really look like they had a set offense. Here's a nice little pick play. Pick that play. Person, I think. It just doesn't seem to be too fluid. I mean, we's a little stagnant. Right here, you see Todd and Drink standing in the middle. Uh, another sloppy play. Bad pass there from Chase. Uh, offsides. Number 34. That's going to be Jameson Wilkin called for the offside, so it's going to be DeMathis ball. Admiral's down 4-3. That's going to be Nick Sot saying on number 21 there. A defense there from Brady Irvin. Another one of the midfielders who is a real good two way player. 99's got wheels. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one hit off the helmet of the goalie. And a long pass. Good. Not going to be able to bit, 
brought in. Great look. Let's fight for the ground ball, and the animals are going to get it. It's glare is kind of tough to see. Yeah, the sun is not in the optimal spot right now. But I believe that is Jacob Todd working from X. Back up to Beard. Shifty. Beard's Gets gonna past him. Open shot, and that's not going to hit. That's not going to hit either. I think he's one for four or five on the frame. Yeah, you're good friends with Andrew Beard. What can yep. you like? You said earlier that his shooting accuracy has been one of his problems. Yeah, definitely one of his problems. That? I mean, the kid doesn't have very many weaknesses, but I mean, if you're reaching for him, that's probably one. Um, he takes a lot of tough shots, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, he, he's always dodging, so he's going to take tough shots at times. I mean, he's just so he's just so quick. I mean, he's moving 100 miles an hour all the time. I mean, it's kind of tough to get a really stable, good shot off, which it kind of shows in his play. But I'm telling you, when that thing hits the net, I mean, it's burning through the nylon, so they get o the the bad ones get overshadowed by the. Uh, the highlight plays that he makes every game. So that's this is going to be another uh, odd man attack here for the Admirals after a, I believe it might have been a cross checking or a hit, some type of hit there from number one on Damatha. So we're going to get another opportunity to see their power play type of Oof. offense here. That's going to go to Todd, and that's wow. going to rip through the net. That was. That's that had a, some power behind I mean, it. <laughs> how did that one find the back of that? That was a tough shot. Not much it, of an angle there. I couldn't tell if it bounced, actually. I think he just went low to high, and it, it hit his helmet and went in. I mean, it's got to be too quick to react there. Yeah, that thing was that coming was a in hot. That right there is why he's going to Princeton, folks. <laughs> he's fun to watch. Looks like DeMath is going to bring in their third or something face-off guy to try to get one on from Reed. Yeah, they've tried about four different things. This that is one. another pole. Reed Reed thought he had it, he didn't. Reed thought he had it, but he didn't. couldn't collect it. And the long pole in his first face-off attempt is going to get it. I mean, look, we got four guys in this alley. Just There's a dodge Great to the inside. there from DeMatha. Oh, but he's going to step in the crease, crease, number 99. He creased uh, there. Gosh. Wow, Woo, great, great move, move there. from K.J. Lloyd. He's going to try to find someone to pass it to. He's going to locate number 13. That's Tanner Huber, the freshman. I believe he's the only freshman fighting yeah. for a spot on varsity. Great help defense there from the Stags. They're going to look for the double team. Going to give it to Tanner. Back to Queen. They're going to work it around. I think that's Carter Johnson. Oh, Good pivot. Shot there from Justin Queen. Queen gets Not going to find anything. And that is Carter Johnson back there at axe number 25. One thing I've really liked from this Damatha defense is their help help defense. It's been really yeah, prominent. Yeah, the Damatha defense looks good. Looks strong. Staying dense, staying compact, not letting much penetration from this Admirals offense. But I mean, the best way to attack that is to get the ball moving, get it working, and when you drive, look for the open man. And the referee's going to listen to the Damatha bench as they call a ward on uh, Luke Hayes. Luke Hayes. And wow! A beautiful check there oh from my. Nick Sott. He's gonna get the ground ball, lose it. That was beautiful, and that's just fundamental lacrosse right there, going for that ground ball. And everyone's scrambling to try to get this ground ball. No one can quite get it. The Stags Pee -wee finally get it, but can't scrum. keep it. And number forty. <laughs> That's Bo Fowler. Timeout. I like the timeout. Slow it down. Timeout. 
Bo Fowler, another one of the basketball players who was unable to play on Saturday. But he's here today, going to really try to help out this is that defense. Bo? That is Bo. 4 0. And uh, it's going to be a timeout, so we'll be back with you after the break. Welcome back after the timeout to the Admirals. Gonna have an opportunity on offense to maybe put a play together after the timeout. Jacob Todd gonna try to work on this short pull. Wow. And that's a beautiful move. And that ball sails over right into the girls' practice. Oh my lord. That thing's flying around. <laughs> that thing's at midfield of the girls' field. After a hit off the pipe. Admirals gonna keep possession. Great switch there by the DeMath. Chase Hallam. Stags. And Chase Hallam's going to get Hallam. in. He's going to find the great open man. Feed. Beautiful finish. That is great. That's the fundamental offense we want to see from the Admirals. Drawing in the defender and finding the open man. That's great vision there from Chase Hallam. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that move from Chase where he pulls the guy out, the guy goes for a check, Chase switches hands or dodges under the check, and then either fakes low and shoots higher, shoots higher, shoots low, or just dumps it across the crease to a wide open attackman. I mean, I watched this highlight reel maybe a couple times. I mean, he got it. It's probably 30% of his highlight reel is just plays around the crease. I mean, he's just lethal. Yeah, it's absolutely he, lethal. Evident that he feels comfortable there. Yeah. It's a, not an easy place to feel comfortable. It's very, a lot of finesse. Well, it can be tough because there's defenders all around you. you got to really be confident, really be composed. And the Admirals are going to get... Gills goes with a safe clamp there. Well, he it, knew where the... It's like the math. The oh, math yeah. is going to be man down man here. Man down, yeah. And so Reed knew that there was one side which didn't have the flip defender. Easy flip. We're going to see another power play here for the Admirals. Good feed. Beautiful... Give and go there. Admiral's offense seems to be heating up a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping we can see a bit more creativity. And that defender just, oh, oh no, that's a no costly Luke error. Hayes. Luke Hayes. What a save. One, I mean, that was the one place he couldn't shoot it. I mean, yeah. credit to the save, but. I, I, mean, don't, I don't like the bounce there. The goalie was guarded in one area. Good defense there from yeah, the really, Admirals. Really good riding. Justin, Justin Queen's going to look. He's going to keep going. And that ball's yeah, going to get knocked flag. out. And they're going to call a flag. I believe for some type of hold. Yep, it's going to be a hold. Hold, loose hand, hit him in the helmet. I mean, that one checked all the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so now are they two down? Did they get even before? It's 5-4 now. No, no, no. Oh, uh, it's probably. It's I think probably they're, either they're one, only one man down. Probably they, one man. They got even before, yeah. Yeah, they're one man down now. Really like the shoes on 99 for DeMatha. The two colors. The red and blue, similar to the I think he might have saw them on colors. Nas Sturdivant's feet and got a little <laughs> jealous. Had to go buy himself a pair. 
Hayes is wide open. Hayes is taking a few shots today, not being able to find someone. anything. Smart move there by Justin Queen to just chase the ball out and not try to grab it and put possibly have some type of air and Andrew Beard's gonna wind up that that's a, a great shot. save that was a really good shot good sh better save though Hayes is wide open good Excellent. defense there from DeMatha as they're gonna get their man back in after the penalty Jacob Todd gonna get doubled gonna find the open man Justin Queen's gonna drive in and another great save from the goalie this goalie's a wall. I mean, this goalie's putting on a show. And that's going to be a hit to the helmet on Luke Hayes. Costly error by him. Trying to ride as he gets out of the defensive side. So DeMath is going to get an opportunity here to get a goal in. But if they don't, then the whistle will be called. And so... No matter what, they kind of have a free possession here. Went ballistic over that foul call. Number eight's going to dodge. Good defense there by Brady Irvin. A great short pull defender. Defending midfielder for the Admirals. Kind of a two-way player. They're going to call a moving screen there. Yeah. That's going to be Luke Hayes, as we saw it said earlier, going out for a minute on a slash. So DeMath is going to have a minute opportunity to man up. This is great practice for the Admirals. Practice their men on defense in game. I'd be thrilled to see them stop stop uh, the Stags here. There you see Nick Sott, KJ Lloyd, Brady Irvin, Cole Kiefer. And of course, Will Perez between the pipes. It's his play, working around. I believe we also have Jameson Wilt out there. Double cutters. Great movement wow, here from the great, Admirals. This is great defense. Admirals doing a great job here, making it look like they're not even a man down. Front the cutter as well. Size two. Oh my lord. Cole Kiefer eats that ball. That'll leave a mark right there. That was that was awesome. That, that was, was phenomenal. Really, defense. really good. And that's gonna be the end of the second quarter, end of the first half. Admirals up five four in the scrimmage. And we'll be back with you after the break.
half for. That's Hello, everyone, happened. and welcome to the start of the second half. Justin Queen easily getting out, and they're going to throw a flag. Wow. I think he got hit in the head, maybe a slash. Roughly, the Admiral's going to get a free to possession. Start the half. And I think the Admirals were previously a man down. So they're going to get their sixth man back. I think that's why they started with the ball there. So it's going to be six on six here for a short period of time. But once the Admirals score, or another good oh, move, a great from move from Jacob Todd. Well, didn't get denied. And that, he's going to try to play that pass through. Since the Stags got the ball there, the flag's going to come into play. The Admirals are going to be a man up. Admiral's going to get into their power play offense. That's going to be a great shot from Luke Hayes. Going to get denied by the goalie. Luke Hayes going for the rolling shot there. Looking for five hole. Great move by the goalie. The Admiral's not going to be able to capitalize on their man up advantage. Seven going to drive in for DeMatha oh. and a great move and a great save. save. And a behind the back oh shot. Oh my lord. Behind yeah. the back. That was clean. Great wow. shot there for number 99. That was sick. Great behind the back. That's going to tie it up 5-5. Five, five. Now we're going to see Reed go again at the faceoff. Great initial save by William Perez there. Beyond the back, such a classy move. Let's see if Reed can get this clamp again. Easy work. Easy work. That's, Reed's been working on that. He will literally lift the stick over the ball and rake the... the the ball into the front of his stick rather than having to cradle it through the back. And that was Tanner Huber lost it in the sun there. Couldn't see the ball at all. Dematha going to get another opportunity here on offense to potentially put them in the lead. Check maybe a bit, maybe he, uh, he Jameson will went a bit extra. Pushed him over at the end. Yeah, they're gonna get him on unnecessary roughness. So it's gonna be a one-minute penalty. So I think it was a clean check at first, but then he just went off a little bit too hard. Yeah. Another good exercise is the Admirals man down defense. It was great last time they were man down. Let's see if we can keep that going. Maybe get some momentum going at man down. I don't blame Tanner for missing that one pass. I mean, up here, this sun is terrible for us trying to look on the left side of the field. Yeah, the Matha player missed it just seconds after. There's a feed. I mean, this is 
really playing into the game. I mean, it's really tough to see the ball, especially from up here. Jamath going to work it around. Trying to make that Severn defense move. But they're doing a great job staying compacted. Great check there. They're going to try to get out. Number 91 is going to get it for oh. Damatha. Great look there, but he's not going to take it. Going to find a better yeah. one, and he's going to find the back of the net. I think that was honestly really good man down defense. It got a little messy at the end, and that's why they scored. Uh, just a s simple kind of soft, uh, fast break, but I think that was pretty good man down defense again there from the Admirals. I think they had their opportunity to capitalize on the defense there when they missed the ground ball and caused some uh, a bit of a scramble. But then once Damatha got the ground ball, it kind of just went, in, went into chaos as the defense wasn't really set up. Well, let's see Gills. There it is. I mean, it's just so simple. I mean, he makes it look so easy for the Admirals. He really does. I never see Reed really stay on the field this long. This is it's been interesting today. Wow, that's a pretty pretty nifty one-handed pass there. Yeah, I think Reed's really gonna have to work on his kind of just passing and catching as the season comes to a start. Um, he's automatic on the face-offs, makes it look a lot easier than it is. But once he gets the ball, he's got to be able to work with it. Right, I mean, usually he literally gets the face off, tries to pass to someone immediately. If not, he'll have to run with it. But, I mean, today he's been sticking around in the field for like 30 seconds. Usually never happens. It's pretty interesting. Great look from Todd there, trying to find uh, number 25. That is Carter Johnson. Great Whoa. catch there for number seven off the bounce. Math is going to work it around. Going to do a bit of a offensive play here. They're going to slow it down. No, I mean, playing very far out on defense. That's what I was saying before. They don't really seem to be that compacted. Opening up a lot of space for one-on-one -on -one dodging. Oh. Good defense there. Great ground ball. Uh, loses it, goes out. Yeah, that was a good move there from KJ Lloyd. Unfortunately, the ball just slipped out. So it is going to be Demathis' ball. from Jameson Willis let him get around him for wide open shot right in the middle. That's going to be a great finish by number 91. Yeah, this, this defense, I mean, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm confident in their ability to grow, but I mean, as of now, you play against teams like Calvert Hall, Boys Latin, and McDonough. I mean, right now it looks like this defense will just get flamed by them, but hey, I have my, I have my confidence in their abilities to turn it up a notch. Well, one thing about this whole Severn, uh, Severn team is that it's very young. Not many seniors on the team. Uh, Paul Baldwin, Brady Irvin, Justin Queen, to name a few of the seniors that are crucial members of the team. But the main, really, con the other main players are primarily sophomores and juniors. Um, and so, I mean, almost all of the defense is sophomores and juniors. So hopefully, they'll have a lot of room to kind of grow and perfect their craft and maybe work together. Yeah, I mean, you got to think next year, I'm sure we're losing a couple good players, but a couple of really talented players, but I mean, we'll still have the Jacob Todd, Nick Sott, Davis Caulfield, who's not playing today, and then we have the up-and-coming Jackson Barrel, who's really growing into a really good attacker and played great on, uh, on JV last year, and Interesting play. Uh, we'll have Chase Helm and Jackson Barrel on 
attack next year alongside Jacob Todd. So that'll be a pretty talented group. And then you got Andrew Beard at midfield, KJ at defense. Yeah, it's going to be great to see these yeah. young players really grow over the next few years. Yeah. And especially last year, I mean, Andrew was playing varsity as a freshman. And, I mean, you could, you could tell he's a freshman. It'll be, it'll be fun to watch them grow in. And looks like we have a flag down. I'm not too sure what it's from. Yeah, it's gonna be too many men on the field for the math. Uh, so they have seven people. Yeah, they, have, they do have, they have seven people down there. Yeah, that's gonna be a foul on the math uh, flag. Um, it's kind of a sloppy substitution error that happens in these preseason uh, exhibition matches. Yeah. During the season, it's pretty interesting to watch. When everyone, you know, when I kind of get in the swing of things and everyone knows when they're subbing and when they're not and if they need a short pull or a long pull, how busy that substitution box gets when everyone knows where they're going. It's pretty interesting. So the Admiral's going to have a man-up opportunity here. from Trey Drink, saved by the second goalie to come into the game for Damatha. And the defender's gonna run out of bounds over there and get kind of boxed out. This goalie's been great so far this game. Both of them have been. Beard is gonna sail it way over the goal. Not giving uh, Trey Drink an opportunity really to chase it out behind the net. I mean, that was a field goal. Almost went on the Evergreen. Good thing we extended the net. That thing airmailed over the, over the net there. It's a towering high cut. talk about this on Saturday, but yes, it is a scrimmage. Yes, we're going to see some sloppy play, not super finely tuned, but I mean, both performances have been definitely disappointing for the Admirals. I think everyone's kind of expecting a bit more, um, but it is preseason, so we're very excited to see how the regular season goes for them. Yeah. Looks like we have a clock here. And that's Jenna Kantowski down there on the clock, um, kind of botching it per usual. Worst nightmare is coming to life. Could also be Devin Williams down there messing it all up. But they got it back and running, so we're going to keep the game going. Wow. Good shot there from Jacob Todd, barely going over. It's been like a shoot around for Jacob Todd. <laughs> He's had a lot of shots this game. Chase Helm will get the opportunity to dodge from X. Good find as well. Here's Andrew Beard. Shot goes wide. That was a bit of a force of a shot there. Still yeah. 50 seconds left on the shot clock. Not much of an angle, but it's always good to take shots when you can. Great defense there for number 32 on the Stags. Keeping Luke Hayes out. Great shot There's there. There's a snipe from here. Rattles off his helmet. Goalie's very confused about how that one went in. I mean, during, the, during the season, the sideline goes crazy after that goal, but today it was just crickets. <laughs> I mean, it is preseason, so... But I think we should still see a bit more excitement right. from that Admiral's bench, maybe a bit from the fans. Yeah, they know they're sloppy. This lacrosse is very similar to basketball. I think it's a go, one of the biggest factors in the game is just sheer momentum. I mean, right. momentum in lacrosse is really tough to stop. I always use the uh, seven game from last year. I mean, 
St. Mary's dominated the whole game. They scored two, seven scores two in a row at the end, and they win the thing. Loyola, seven was beating them, and then Loyola goes crazy and just seven couldn't stop them. And we all know basketball is a big game of momentum as well. Well, another thing that has to do with momentum in lacrosse is that because we have such a good face-off man in Reed Gills, I mean, in basketball, if you score a bucket, the other team automatically gets the ball. But in lacrosse, if you score a goal, you still got to win the face-off to get the ball. So if one team has a dominant face-off man and can get the ball into the back of the net, I mean, that game can be over really quickly without the other team even getting opportunity on offense. That's why Reed Gills is so important to this program. It's like it's like making a three pointer and getting the ball back, you know. Match up, match up. Good shot there from Carter Johnson. Not gonna find the frame. And that's been kind of a trade I've seen all day is the shot accuracy for the Admirals. Charlie Hall going to drive in. Great double team there from DeBatha. No one really coming to help him. He's going to find Mason Irvin at X. He's got a short pass. Wow. And a great move. Looking for the tight angle. Not going to find it. That was an incredible move. Incredible move, but I mean, the shot he took, he Not didn't have finish. much of an angle. Not a good finish. job by DeMatha to get it out. And DeMatha is going to call a timeout. So we'll be back with you after the break. And we're back. The Admirals have the ball. Will Perez. Way over to Finn Kinsella. Finn Kinsella recently committed to Gettysburg University. That's where his brother goes. I think that had a lot of, a lot of force behind wh where he was committing because his brother is at Gettysburg. So another quick timeout here for the Admirals. Admirals down 7-6 in the third quarter. With 21 seconds left. We'll be back with you after the short break.
back after the break. We're going to see a nice little uh, short offensive period here. We have 20 seconds here to work. Jacob Todd going to work from X. He's going to drive. Beautiful jump twist shot. Looking like prime Derek Jeter trying to pass it to first base on a ground ball. They're going to have eight seconds here. Carter Johnson is going to try to make some magic happen. He's going to get inside. Oh. Oh. And a great opportunity is going to go to waste as the shot couldn't quite be harnessed. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Three shots there at the end of the, in the last 20 seconds. But that's going to be the end, and we'll be back with you for the start of the fourth. And welcome back to the start of the fourth quarter here in the beautiful Severn, Severn School campus. We see Gunnar Foote going out there for the faceoff number 23 for the white. Backup faceoff man replacing Reed Gills. Yeah, give Gills a break. Let's see if he can be just as dominant there. Gunnar's no joke. Gunnar's good too. It's unfortunate that Reed is the year below Gunnar. Gunnar's not really going to get yeah. in. Any good opportunities to show off his face-off skills. And he's oh. going to get tripped, but managed to keep possession of the ball. Wow, that was a good play. That was beautifully done there by Gunnar. <laughs> that was a really good play. To draw the trip, win the face-off, draw the chip, trip. <laughs> but keep possession. Here comes Hallam. I think Chrissy really likes Hallam. He's utilizing him a lot today. Can't tell if that's he's making a decision on him or he really likes him, but Yeah, there are some players currently on the bubble that Christy's probably trying to see a bit more yeah. of. Um see if they gonna play on varsity or right. maybe get moved down to J V. Yeah. Chase looks really good though. Assist really good assist today. I think he might have two assists actually. But. Chase, younger brother of Star Admiral Middle School lacrosse player Ryan Hallam. Yeah. Really a force to be reckoned with. He was. No question where uh, Chase got his athleticism from. Runs through the whole family. It's a fact. It's going to be the Admiral's maybe fifth or sixth opportunity man up here. Oh, my God. That's going to be a bad pass. Or maybe a bad catch. But Andrew showing off his speed. Yep. To be able to get the ground ball. Andrew's wide open up top. What the? Whoa. That was a interesting look from Todd. I mean, usually he's pretty poised. That looked a little panicked. I don't know. If it, I think he was just trying to find the, the pass all the way through to the opposite side. Yeah. And then the goalie for... DeMath was going to put on a beautiful move, but then throw it out of bounds. DeMath went pretty ballistic over the goalie, not not really doing anything there. No, he did a nice spin move to get around. It was a defense. decent, it was a decent spin move. Nothing, nothing I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> High standards over here from Jax to Jada. 
And there's that same pass. That's finds a great. At that time. You got to think they'll have those shots down by the season time. You think? Yeah, the yeah. shot accuracy has just been dreadful for the Admirals. They've gotten a lot of opportunities but not been able to capitalize. I talked to Paul Baldwin earlier today. One of He's an attackman known for his shot accuracy, known for putting it in the back of the net. He said he should be back next week, which is a great sign for the Admirals. So good. Oh, wow. Great move by Jacob Tad. Not going to be able to finish. And they're going to call a crease violation. And Gonzaga is very excited about that. Not Gonzaga, DeMatha, my apologies. I see Stags on there. Uh, Jersey, I see the G. Instantly think of Gonzaga, but that's that's math for sure. They're pretty close together anyways. Whenever I think of, uh, I always think of them together, you know, both D.C. schools, D.C. area. Oh, and there we go. Sun gets behind the cloud. Math are going to work it around. Ooh, a bad pass there for number 40. 31 for Blues not going to be able to reel it in. Actually, looks like Chase Helm is running mini. Not sure if he still does. Uh, pretty sure he does. He plays attack on his uh, club team, the Baltimore Crabs. There's some good shifty move. That's a great swim move from great Chase Howell. Chase Howell to get into the zone. It looks like he might have gotten hit in the head, but not no flags to get thrown. Yeah, that was just fear fearless. Great shot fake. Carter Johnson had a wide open opportunity, but he's going to miss the frame as well. They could have 15 goals right now. They've had so many shots. Sun goes behind the cloud. Great for the eyes, but it's so ideal. A bit chilly now. Yeah, it is a bit chilly. Sloppy. I think sloppy is a good word for the Admiral's performance today. Let's see if we can tie it up. Great pass in there to Trey Jang and a beautiful save. Wow. And now DeMatha is going to get a fast break opportunity. 24 is going to work oh. it across in that wide open shot. It's not going to be able to fall. Wow. Heartbreak. That was a wide open opportunity. And number two, maybe thought it was a bit too easy. He tried to shoot it before he caught it. Great pass there from the goalie. That's a backup goal. That's not William Perez in there anymore. Jack Reed? Yeah. That is Jack Reed. Oh, and here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes Admirals resting a few of their key starters, letting a few of the, the backups get in. That's freshman Tanner Huber, looking around all the way to Mason Irvin. He's gonna get doubled. Kicked it around to Justin Queen. Gonna get a Ooh. shot, and that's gonna be blocked by the defender, not the goalie. The Admirals have had so many offensive opportunities and just have not been able to capitalize. Jack Reed's a really good goalie. Played with him for a couple years on the uh, on the Annapolis Hawks. Whoa, that's a really that's a very questionable call there. Looks like a clean, just kind of push out of bounds, but they're gonna get number two. <laughs> yeah, on a foul, on a penalty. Push? I think he said push in the back. I, think, I do think they called a push in the back. Questionable call. 
DeMatha fans are Living. not happy about that call. <laughs> but, I mean, we got to respect the stripes up here. Can't say anything bad about them. They're doing their best. Yeah. DeMatha fans are not excited about that call. Beautiful pass from yeah, Jacob there we Todd. Go. Down low to Luke Hayes. Ties it up. To tie it up at sevens. That was just beautiful vision from Jacob Todd to find Luke Hayes right on the crease. Got our foot back in there at the faceoff X. See Antonio Money on the close side, number 19. Getting some long LSM in, long stick midfielder. We see number 28, Hayden Gargliano. Star swimmer, all conference for the Admirals. Known for his 100 freestyle. Bo Fowler out on the field. We see Chase Anderson trailing on number six there, senior. Some people call him shysty. Oh. And that's going to be an errant pass going out of bounds. Chase is going to get the ball. He's going to try to get a fast start, but he's going to get called back. We're going to give it to Justin Queen. Can we talk about how good these helmets look this year? They look great. Yeah, the Admiral just got some new helmets, and they're looking stunning out there. Look really good in the sunlight, seeing them glisten. Charlie Hall went on the field. They're going to get called for uh, offsides there. <laughs> if there was a substitution error there on yeah. the Admiral, it's going to be a 30 second violation. It actually looked like the ref was trying to see what Charlie Hall's number was, and he kind of crawled into the huddle, <laughs> <laughs> maybe trying to hide his number. <laughs> Ran away from the ref a little bit. I'm not sure what the foul was there. Looks like we had enough people it was, back. It was offsides. It was uh, Charlie went onto the field. JQ told him to get off. Ref turns around. Charlie's looking like a deer in the headlights standing <laughs> right there. <laughs> Some can... The math fans are not happy about the, the, the refereeing happening on the field at the moment. Wow, great long pass there. Admiral's ball. Admiral's gonna try to they are try to beat this pressure here. They are. There's only eight. It was six on six there. Charlie Great Hall's there got some Charlie wheels. Hall showing off that speed. He's gonna come all the way oh. down. And that's going to hit off the post. Post magnet. Go straight into the girls' field. Poor kid. Great etiquette there by number five on DeMatha. Chasing the ball all the way into the girls' field and grabbing it. Yeah. There really was good etiquette.
has five on the five on the defensive side for Damatha. Not sure. Referee called an illegal procedure on Damatha. Everyone's yeah. a bit upset. Now the second ref agrees with them. Great pass there from Chase Anderson. That's number four. Um, Finkinsella. Finkinsella. Love the effort Finn, Finn shows to get off the field. I mean, he sprints off the field like he's running the 100 meter. That's going to be a timeout for Severn. We have three minutes, 50 seconds left. Scrimmage is tied at 7-7, although the score doesn't really matter. But we'll be back with you after the break. And we are back. Seven man up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they are. No, no they're not. Yeah, they are. No, it is six and six. No, they're not. Never mind. <laughs> Jack I, showing off his math skills I there. definitely do not star in math. <laughs> Something that we've well established. Three minutes, 22 seconds left. Math are going to work their offense. Really Great good check, check there. From Bo. That's how it's done. Wow. Just a rancid chirp on the sideline, too. Another great check there. That was number 26, Will Huber. Chase Anderson can get burnt there, and that shot's going to go over. And great chase out of bounds there by number 31, Connor Smith, getting the Admirals a possession. You got the second line of defense in there now. Two minutes, 30 seconds left, and this game's coming down to the wire. The players on the field don't know the exact score because the live scoreboard's not being updated because it's just a scrimmage. We see Henry Reith check in on defense, kind of as a long pull yes, midfielder. Long pull, long hair, black gloves. Looks like Batman. Great team defense. There's three three men played one played one on Damatha. And an Aaron pass there from number 24. Gonna go out of bounds. Great defense there from Henry. Got Jackson Barrow in there on attack. Gets it, get him some action. Oh! Good spin move. 
for number two, Mason Irving, going to drive in. He's Ooh. right on the crease, gets hit. Balls popped up. Carter takes care of that one. Great job by Carter there to bring the ball in. Back up to Hallam. Hallam's going for the quick dodge, gets past him. Seeks in between two of them. Good, great shot good to shot. the bottom left corner, but can't find it. Tanner Huber's going to wind up. That's going to get saved by the goalie. Had a couple shots that were just pretty much passes to the goalie today. Great tipped ball there. Wow. That's going to get checked. That's a great check from Chase Howell. Number 40 for the Admirals. That's Hallam, Bo Fowler. Hallam thinks two moves ahead. Oh, and there's Barrel. Barrow's going to get a shot opportunity. That's going to get saved. And this DeMatha goalie's been awesome so far. 30 seconds left on the clock. Game tied 7 7. Number five's going to get a shot, and that's going to get saved. The yeah, Adder's going to get cold for a push. Not going to be a flag, just going to be DeMatha's ball. 31 seconds left. Going to get him on the push there. No flag, but. Retain possession. Ooh, great stop there from number 40. Thirteen seconds left. Timothy gonna get the final shot. Five seconds left. That ball is gonna go away. Three seconds left. No one's going to get it, and that's going to be the end of the game here. Final score, 7-7. Just a scrimmage. The final preseason scrimmage for the Admirals. Next game will be a regular season game in the MIAA Conference. My name's Josh Bing alongside Jack Stamato. We thank everyone for joining us today, and we'll see you on our next broadcast. Thank you.